What is going on everybody? The Big Foodies are back on the road after a long delay. Thank you to Brickaball Orthodontics for sponsoring the Big Foodies to Go show. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need to get your teeth fixed or worked on with the new year, hit them up. We got their information in the link in the description below. I like that, the new year. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, like new said, year, new year, new teeth. That's right. Boom, hey, man. Get it all worked out. So, the Big Foodies are back on the road, and today we're trying something that is brand new to Greensboro. Timmy's Hot Chicken. Timmy. This is like the talk of the town. That's right. If you know where the beef burger was and on Gates City does. in Greensboro, it's a, it's a staple. It's gone now, and now Timmy's Hot Chicken is here. There is a location in Winston-Salem as well, so this is their second location in Greensboro. Uh, they opened up, what, last week, I think? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's I, I've driven by several times. It's been slammed. So let, let me ask this. Have you had Timmy's Hot Chicken in Winston? In I haven't. Country? No, no, no. Never okay. had it before. Okay. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't heard any reviews on it, so I'm kind of going into this blind. Let's check the tea. Yeah. But he's got the tea. How's the tea? Pretty good. All right. Okay. Pretty good. If you like having good sweet teas, you got to have it. <laughs> so we got a whole chicken joint. We got a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to try it out. Tender sandwiches. All right, what do we got first? Y'all tell me. You're the bag man. You want to try the tenders first? Yeah. Get a base of the chicken. I like that. What? Yeah, uh, all right, give me a sec. All right. <laughs> what level heat? Oh, now they have like five levels. So they had le like medium, hot. There was one more, and then Hellfire I think was their hottest. Okay. Yeah. And they actually have a challenge. I saw that. If you go, it's called the Hellfire Challenge. You eat three Hellfire wings in ten minutes with no drinks. You get to write your name on a rubber chicken and staple it to the wall. Nice. It's pretty rubber good. chicken. I, I was like, like that. that's totally worth it. We asked yeah. the lady working there. We were like, would you try it? And she said, hell no. Verbatim. That's what she said. <laughs> I yeah. like it. That so we dubbed quote. it the hell no challenge. All so right. It's the hell no challenge. Tenders. Tenders. Right. So we got the tenders hot. I know if you've seen past episodes, I do not handle spice no, well. And look how you're dressed. I know. I'm actually dressed kind of nice too, so it's going to be bad. This might be a uh, watching TV get out of the car and take clothes off. I'll grab a tendy. I'm okay. going to get the sauce from back here. Good size tender. They dip them? Well, there's a couple. So I think the, the tendies are sprinkled. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're kind of dusted. Okay. All right, so yeah. they, ha they have like a signature sauce. I think that's what that is right there. Maybe you want the signature. I know you're not a ranch oh. man. Yeah, yeah. And then... Oh, that's another signature. I'm gonna try it dry first. Ooh. Oh, I don't know that they gave us the ranch. Okay. So I'll just go dry as well. Y'all said pickles? Mm-hmm. Also comes with two pieces of bread so you can make your own tendy sandwich. Oh, okay. Matt, do you wanna try the signature sauce? I got one back here. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Good chicken. Good quality chicken. A very good chicken. It's not those crappy tenders. Um. On mine, I'm not getting a ton of. <coughs> Wait. Uh huh. There we found some. Wait okay. a minute. All right. So it's not a wet sauce. It's no. like a dusting. Yeah. So I think that's kind of to let you know it's not wet. It's a dry tender, but it's dusted mm -hmm. with heat, and it's got it's not terribly hot. It's manageable. That was a really good tender. You're right. Not too heavy, like just the right amount of batter on it too. Mm -hmm. The dusting, yeah, is a good amount of dust. All right, BB, you want to go for a uh, wing? Put the wings next. Oh yeah. Okay. I was wondering if these were going to be like drumettes. No, these are full ass wings. Oh, I see. We got some. Uh, I love it. We do have some ranch in there. Oh, the ranch is in the wing. Oh yeah. Look at that, baby. Ah, oh, my pickle. I'll have to get messy up in here. Dang, that's a big wing. That is a big wing. And what'd you get the wings in? Medium? I think so. Again, solid chicken. Nice and juicy. They're not dry. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. <coughs> well, that's odd. Well, camera fell. Can you hear me now? <laughs> BBDC. <laughs> <Our camera fell. laughs> Stop eating the camera fell. Balls deep in this chicken. If you're just joining us, we're eating wings. Yeah, sorry. I don't I'll tell you. malfunction. Yeah, wings are solid. That's a good wing, man. Oh, it's good. 
Trying some bread. Sorry for the change of the camera angle. Keep falling down. It's gonna get worked out. White bread. Yeah. Staple at a chicken joint. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed so far. So far we're in good hands. Especially for it being brand new and open. Yeah, like they've a got lot of times together. places are working out. <coughs> so heat wise. I'm starting to feel a little bit. I feel bit. a little got, bit. It's lingering on me. Yeah, that's just it. It stays with you. It's not a. Uh, it's not an in-your-face heat, but you're gonna yeah. feel it. Yeah. All right. So we also got. I need one of them napkins. Here's one. Here's one. Um, we also got two sandwiches. Big man requested the fish sandwich. I heard about the fish. I wanted to try that. So we got you a fish. Okay. Fish sandwich, the cod father. Okay. Or whatever it's called. Ooh, nice name. BB, okay. you and I can split this other one. Love it. But I have no idea how we're going to split it. <laughs> you want to take a bite of one end and I'll take a bite of the other end? All right. Old lady in the tramp is bitch. I think that's what we're going to have to do. You go fish. Fish looks good. You go good first. piece of fish. Right. My gosh! This is probably going to happen again. Well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> All right, good piece of fish. Let's see. What slaw. toppings do we got? We got slaw on there, a heavy slaw. I'll be honest, the fish to slaw ratio, not great. Camera's too heavy. We would have a heavy camera for this show. Supposed to do two of these tonight. <laughs> Biggie, how's the fucking chicken sandwich <laughs> or the fish sandwich, dude? We're having some camera yeah. issues. Yeah. Thanks, how's the fish? Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, the fish is very messy, as you can't tell. Um, fish to slaw ratio, horrible. Okay, too much uh, slaw. I looked at the piece of fish more. It's way too much slaw, way too small on the fish. For as good as the chicken is. This is a miss. Okay. It's not a ton of flavor and just, I mean, piles and piles of slaw and not much fish. Ugh. All right. So no other chicken sandwich. No other fish sandwich, sorry. So Matt and I are splitting this chicken sandwich and I gotta say, man, this might be the fattest chicken sandwich I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it is. Look at, look at that thing. That looks look good. Look at that fat chicken. It's ridiculous, dude. Here, here give, me the, give me a camera. It's so close to your face. <laughs> it's so close to your face. Bite it. Huh. Bite it. That's the one that's loaded. I think the Timothy. Oh my God. Well, for there being so much crap on there, it is very good. Yeah. It's very very good. Mm -hmm. All right, switch it up. Yeah, hand me the box. Figure this out. What else on the Timothy? Do you remember? Uh, so there's chicken, pickles, bacon, slaw. Wow. There, uh, what's their sauce called? Comeback sauce? Comeback sauce. Did you mention that there's chicken on it? There's chicken. Oh, okay. How's the slaw ratio? Like the fish sandwich had There's a lot of I mean, yeah. I'm trying to get a good bite there. Buns hold up well. Yeah, good quality bacon on there too. What do you think? It's lost slaw, but it's not like a classic vinegar or mayonnaise slaw. No, you're right. It's it's definitely it's a creamy, a creamy slaw. I mean, I'm literally wearing it. It's, it's very different. Very there. wet. But I'm okay with it because there's so much chicken. I'm cool with the slaw. Okay. Pickles, so that's not I, the flavor of that sandwich is unbelievable. That's what was opposite on the fish. There was not enough fish to cover the slaw. I mean, I, that that's killer. All right, what do we got next? All right, we got some sides. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pass y'all some forks. Oh yeah, by the way, sorry, our camera tripod is jacked up. So and I'm, I'm super prepared. 
I got each of us a different fork. Oh, oh good, good, good. Look at for him. each side. Oh, perfect. So that Look we're not that. eating after each other because Christmas. You see, that's why he uh, that's why he handles the logistics of things. Yep. He's also the only parent in the group. That's a good so, point too. Yeah. He, he understands sickness and spreading. Yeah. Facts, facts, yeah. Facts. Okay. Would y'all like to? We'll, we'll obviously save the banana pudding for last. Yes. So we got mac and cheese or greens. I've heard great things about the greens. Okay. I'm not a greens fan. Okay. Well, so I'm now. going to pass on the greens. Oh, okay. All right, Matt. That's you and me. Oh my. Now I've heard these are spicy. These are a spicy unless green. There's oh, a dusting oh, on the green. I'm oh, sorry. Unless y'all just unless y'all just say they're absolutely ridiculously good, then I'll try. There's them. a okay. dusting on the greens. I'm gonna try and it's all over the top, so I'm gonna try not to okay. get all of that. I can dig smell a little deeper. It. Smell, smell it. it. Okay. Oh, these do look good. Whoa! Absolutely ridiculous. Damn it. I had a feeling that was coming. Dude, as far as greens go, that's Holy it. Holy cow. That's it. Those greens are Whoa. it. That definitely got a vinegar bite in there. Yeah. Man, they are spicy. Adding that spice to it takes that it up dusting, a notch. That spice dust. Okay. I don't know what level of heat they added. Okay. Added a dusting. That's good, man. Those greens. Some of the better greens I've had. Yeah, just hold it. No, okay. Don't give me a fork. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Get a little yeah, taste in there. He's being a man. I might as well try it out. Oh, God, it's too much. Have you had greens before? Yeah. Once. You know how he is with, um, oh, what is it? Vegetables. Yeah. Period. The green. Yeah. Your thoughts? <clears throat> it's not for me. No? no not no. for me. I'll take your word that they're good. I have no judge or gauge. There you go. that way about you. You're not for me. That's me. <laughs> the mac During and the holiday season. has like a breading on top. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I think the mac and okay. cheese is dusted. Yeah. Got the shells in there. So again, I'm going to try to get some of the breading, but I'm also going to try to go deep here. What you thinking? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try to go down. That's not low. a mac and cheese like any other mac and cheese I've had. Okay. It's a very unique flavored mac and cheese. Hmm. Wow, that is different. Yeah. Not what I was expecting in a good way. Mm hmm. Maybe right. you want me to. I hold promise the camera? you, it does not taste like any mac and cheese you've ever had. No. Analysis. Oh. That's good. Okay. Not my favorite. Really? Okay. No, yeah. Well, not, in that case, I'm going to go back in for another bite. Not my favorite, not terrible either. I'm going to try more of the breading this time. I don't know. Mm. It's kind of bland, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. I See, could I think not the disagree more. yeah, I think the mm -hmm. breading and the spice add to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm kind of just not into it. Mm. All right, folks. Okay. Next up, we'll dessert. Nana pudding. You can actually get banana pudding as one of your sides. Okay. Ooh. So when she said when I ordered the combo, she said you want fries, greens, mac and cheese, or banana pudding. Okay. I was like, wow. Thank you. They're all banana pudding fans. I love it. It's one of my favorites. This, I don't know how I feel looking at it, but let's give it a shot. I'm going to lick the lid. <laughs> it's good. Standard to me. Good, but I don't know if I'd. Not super pudding-y. No, I don't know if I'd write home about it, though. It's, it's good. Oh, shit. There you go, BB. Hmm. What do y'all think? That's good. You like <laughs> that? that that's yeah. amazing. Really? See, I that's, really I, like that. I'm a fan of the banana pudding. I'm a fan of it. It's just, it's <laughs> banana pudding to me. I but better I, than the mac and cheese, totally, not as good as the greens. Uh, yeah. See, I put the mac and cheese. Mm. I'd, put, I'd go greens, mac and cheese, banana pudding. I'd go greens, banana pudding, mac and cheese. <laughs> a banana pudding. You can just leave the rest at the house. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. Leave it at the house. All right. All right. Was that everything? That's, that's it. everything. All right. Well, what was y'all's final review of Timmy High, Timmy's Hot Chicken? Should the people go try it? Definitely try it. Go get, yes. the, go get the wings or the tendies. Wings, chicken for sure. Yeah. Don't. I'd avoid the fish. If you're going to get a sandwich, be ready for it to be messy and a lot of slaw. Maybe tell them light slaw, actually. If you're a fan of greens, 
that's the side. Greens? Yes. Great greens. Oh, yeah. we're supposed to have fries. No, that's all Is right. Is there no fries, fries in there? Fries. fries. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, they did look like standard fries with maybe a dusting of their They kind of look like yeah. crinkle cuts. I feel so. like we got the They good, were a crinkle cut. Signs. They were a crinkle cut. All right. Well, that's it for us, the big foodies. Timmy's Hot Chicken Review in the books. If you're in the Greensboro area, check them out. Uh, or in Winston. Or in Winston, or in Winston as well. Or, uh, thank you again to Rickaball or the dogs for sponsoring the big foodies. Who's in Winston. Who is in Winston as well. Information in the description. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.